Hi, this is Chris P1001 at kpkillsoft.com. This is a um, video tutorial that was requested by Hall. He has an aircraft that he's working on that has a V horizontal, and he's having issues doing the animations because of the pivot point being off the global XYZ axis. So let's go into Blender. As you can see, I've already set up a V horizontal and also the elevators. So the first thing we want to do is set up the origin point on the elevators to where the pivot point is going to be. So we're going to set the origins there. First thing we're going to do is click the elevator, hit the tab, select the back vertices, and we'll do a shift S and we're going to move our 3D cursor, cursor to selection. So now our 3D cursor is at the point where we want to put the pivot point. We'll go tab to go out of edit mode. We will now set the origin to the 3D cursor. You can see our origin has moved now to where we want the pivot point. We'll do the same thing to the right elevator. Choose the back vertices. Go shift S cursor to selected, out of tab, I'm out of edit mode, set origin to 3D cursor. Okay, so now we have our origins in the correct pivot point locations. Now there are several different ways to get um, the pivot or to be able to pivot on a um, axis that is other than your global. Now what you can do um, which is much more work and I'll go through it just to show you how much work it would have to be and you also have to be exactly on the same location every time when you redo your or you reset the animation if not your animation is going to be jerky and it's not going to be real nice and smooth but let's go into a front view we're going to rotate let's see it'll rotate the other way and we're going to rotate down so now you can see that we're pretty close to horizontal and on um, yeah horizontal with this one elevator. We're going to change our global our transformation um, here to a local. Then we're going to hit R for rotate, and you can see we can rotate on that pivot point. If we leave it in that position, you can see that it does work. Now the only thing, you can see how much work it took just to do that. Now if I go in and want to change the um, rotation now again, I'm going to have to line this thing up exactly the way I did before. Oops. And make sure that I'm right, oh I did the wrong one. Then I'm right back to where I was. And you see it doesn't always line up perfectly. So this is not a good way to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up an object that we're going to use as our transformation, our um, our transform, um, our transformation um, orientation for the view. So what we want to do, let's select the left one. We'll do the left one first. We're going to move our 3D cursor to the um, origin. So we'll do a shift S and cursor to selected. You can see our 3D cursor is there now. I'm going to do a shift A and I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to turn on X-ray for the cube. I'm also going to rename it elevator axis L for left. I'm going to size it down. Size it a little more. Yeah, about right there. Go to a top view. I'm going to size it in the X. I'm going to size it down a little more. That's good. I'm going to do a control A and reset my scale. I'm going to go to a front view. Now I need to line it up horizontally with my um, elevator. 
So I'm going to rotate on the y-axis. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we are going to go and we're going to scroll down and you'll see transform orientations. We're going to click to expand that drop down and we're going to click on the plus to add or create another transform orientation. Now you have to make sure you have the object you want to you want to make as your new orientation selected. We're going to name it Elevator Axis Left. I'm going to choose Use After Creation. You'll see it'll change down here for our transformation. So now we have Elevator Axis Left for our transformation. Now what this is going to do, this is going to, instead of having to set up your view to get it perfect on the pivot, it is going to use this as your transform orientations for your X, Y, Z axis. So now you want to click on your elevator. We already have our elevator axis L selected. I want to hit rotate and X two times. And now move it. And you can see it works perfect. So we have that one set up. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go to a top view. I'm going to select the elevator axis L. And I'm going to do a shift D to duplicate. And in the X axis I'm going to move it. And I'm going to line it up better. I'm going to select my elevator. Let's see. I'm going to do Shift S, cursor, let's see, cursor to selected. That's good. I'm going to select my um, object. I'm going to go Shift S and Selection to Cursor. That lines it up perfect for me. Go back into a front view mode. Rotate Y. Line it up for us and parallel again to your elevator. That's good. We will name this one now. This will be the right. We're going to set up a new transform orientation. We will name this one right. Right. And enter. Okay, so now we have one set up for this side. So if we select this one now, make sure we have our elevator axis R, our right one selected, and do rotate, hit X two times, and it pivots very nicely. Now to animate it and show you how fast you can go back and forth to select the different things, let's go ahead and select our left elevator. Oops, wrong one. I just want the elevator. There we go. I'm going to choose, I change my rotation to left. I'm going to make sure I'm on my first keyframe or for, yeah, first keyframe. Um, because of the elevator, it's in a I believe down position to start off in um, animation for FSX. So we want to do a rotate X 20 and enter. We'll do I for rotation to, for a keyframe. Select our right elevator. Choose our axis or um, transformation axis for our right. We will rotate X 20 and I and rotation keyframe. Go to 50. We're already on that one, so we'll go ahead and just rotate X two times minus 20. 
I, rotation keyframe. Select the left elevator, select the left axis, rotate X2 times minus 20, add a keyframe, keyframe for rotation. Now we have this one selected again, so we'll go ahead and go 100. We'll do rotate X2 times minus 20, I, rotation, change to the right, change the right for the transformation, rotate X2 times minus 20, I add rotation keyframe, go back to zero and hit play. Now you can see we have our animation set up. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it and you set up all your transform orientations. You can just go through and start selecting them as you go through and do your animations. So I hope this helps, and thanks for everybody for watching. Bye.